Hello everyone, it's me, Mario, and welcome back to part 6 of Kirby's Adventure on Let's Play! Today we'll be doing the final world, Rainbow Resort. So, without further ado, let's go! And welcome to night time, with lasers! I mean, what more could you really ask for? Night time with lasers. And thanks to the lasers, we're pretty much destroying everything in sight. And we'll even get a one up. That I'll go right to past it. Of course, the laser won't help us much here, so. Let's grab a sparky. And then knock it back to live. So many star blocks! This is a ridiculous amount of star blocks here. Ooh, we're going to get that fireball though. That'll probably have a little more than the sparks. Well, Mario's not wrong! And it even got us through one of those. Not a through the second one, apparently. Ow! Mario didn't appreciate that. We just have to play this very carefully. Welcome to part six, where Kirby rams his face into things repeatedly. It's a good time, right? Okay, this isn't getting us very far. But we're going to get a different power up and see if that helps it. Come here, you. Okay. That was a close call. And now let's grab this, because now Mario actually kind of needs it. There we go. Now uh, let's do it again. It's a little slippery here, interestingly. Okay, we've created an opening for ourselves. But now we have to get to through that one, which is a little different. I do believe we'll need our old friend the fireball. Ow! There we go, that's a little better. That did not go Mario's way. There we go, and we're in! And we've unlocked a minigame that we're not going to play, but Mario is going for 100%, so we needed it. And now Mario's quite a frozen. Let Mario go! Wait, no. Let Princess Peach go! Let Princess Peach go! Bazaar, you don't, don't hurt anyway. But as you can see between parts, Mario's not exactly taking lessons for singing. But he did avoid getting his face chopped by that sword guy, so we're going to call that a win. Mario is going to let the singing joke go. Okay. It's out of my system, at least for now. And level two, here we go! Welcome to boss rush mode. Fun fact, there actually is a boss rush mode. We will not be showing that off. Okay, this is getting gold. Come on! Come along with Mario, and let's go! 
I want our cast as an explosion! This is why Mario is not a mage. Okay, unfortunately we can't quite glitch this out for infinite microphones. I've still got one mic left and I would like to use it. And it's a hammer time! This one's a little more unpredictable. And by unpredictable, I mean dead. This one's a little dead. touched it. Oh man did he touch it. Okay I've got one hit left. I've got to be a little careful now. Come and get it. Okay. Mario has a feeling he may have ooh, missed a secret. But for now, the Warp Star. And of course, we have to check these little circles to just to make sure. Ooh, limb tomato. That's what Mario needed. Excellent. And we're out of here. But Mario is pretty sure we missed the thingy. Yep, we did it! There were no thingies missed in the making of that level. We do not want to sacrifice our hammer for the ability to sleep. Mario can sleep about pasta and linguine anytime. Mario thought that might have actually been a door. The game has pulled similar tricks in the past, and it's been a door in those cases. Oh look, a real enemy! Are you... are you kidding me? Okay. That was a low blow, buddy. Come along! Mario gets the feeling he probably should have glitched this hammer. Yep, the hammer's gone. But, it seems like this world is being very generous with the maximum tomato. Which is honestly a little surprising, all things considered. Come and get it! Kirby's Hyper Invincible. Something something frozen, something something let it go. Mario can do the jokes. Uh oh! That got a little in my way. And I got a little in his way. Now I'm going to push A. Yay! Hmm, so we have this top path up here that is not being revealed. That's a suspicious. Fine, 
Come at Mario. I'll freeze you. Oh, ow. Now to remember, when I suck up an enemy and a star that had an old power at the same time, I always get the old power. It prioritizes that. Which is why I did not have a ball just now. Thank you. It's like a boomerang. Forget it, I'll show off the ball. So, I'm a ball Kirby now. Now, I know there are other people who can use this ability better than Mario. But if Mario keeps going, he's going to die. So, we're going to just stop. That's okay, don't turn when Mario tells you to turn. Regardless, it's not like we lose really any time of progress. And now Mario's getting fired up there. Mario feels like there's probably a trick to this room. But this world has misled me before, so who knows? Nope, no trick. The trick is that there is no trick. I'll be taking you. I ran too far. Kaboom! It seems like so far level 7 is much easier than level 6. Woo. And welcome to the weird gravity room. As you can see, if the oh no, goodbye. If the big star is pointing up at the top there, that means I go up there. And if it's down like this one in front of me, I go down. So that's the way that's going to be. And now I'm fired up again. And now I'm dead again. That was really smooth. Less I. Mario was just commenting on how this world was easier, and then all of a sudden, the death room! Come on! Come along! Nom! Okay. We're going to just wait for Shocky Shocky Boom Boom. Well, we lost the ability, but we have remained alive. So that's a win. I'll be taking you. Okay, and we made it through this room of death and gloom. And now we'll wait for that. Uh... Hmm. 
Hmm. The timing on this is a little tight. Well, we're never going to get it like that, are we? Okay. Get out of here. There we go. Ooh, so many one-ups. Okay, so there was not a secret exit like Mario thought that it would be. But we got to so many lives, which kind of makes up for the room of death and gloom. Ooh, okay. Level six. This is actually a callback to the Game Boy game. Kirby's Dreamland. Which is why everything's in black and white. Except Kirby, who they left in color. I feel like I should have a nice ability. That way I can be black and white too, just like all of them. Now, as Mario said, it's a callback level, not so much a recreation one for one. So we won't be seeing quite everything that was in that game. Not to mention, as Mario said in an earlier part, in that game, you actually didn't get to absorb enemies' power ups. They had random abilities laying around, but you couldn't absorb powers. So this is definitely a different kind of beast. And honestly, so far it makes it much easier. This is kind of walking you through the kind of levels that the game had, which aren't all that different from the kind of levels this game has. Ow! Well, now we're going to play a Kirby's Dreamland style without a power up. So, Mario didn't ask this earlier. Why do coconuts explode? Well, for that matter, why am I fighting erasers? I guess it doesn't have to make sense. Goodbye, birds. And welcome to night time again. Up, up, and away! That definitely looks like a door, no matter how do you cut it. So we just had to check it. And it might have been a door in the Game Boy game. But this is a door for sure. And a hidden exit. I don't know why they give me a tomato when there's already a uh, revive. Eh, not worth it. Actually, it might be worth it. Nope, not worth it. That's not going to help us in the final battle, which is coming up soon. Probably not helpful either. If Mario throws us a cutter, nobody's around. Does it make a sound? And dun 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 dun, the boss room. Okay, and this is a good place to leave off because there is actually more than one boss. Minor spoiler alert. So. Mario will pick up next time right here with a boss rush marathon. And by that he just means he'll fight the last couple of bosses. Not the boss rush mode. But until that time comes, this has been me, Mario. And thank you so much for watching my Let's Play commentary. I will see you all next time. Goodbye!